Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. I've been a CPA for 28 years. Today, I want to teach you how to write off bad debts in QuickBooks Online. The short answer is we're going to create a credit memo. You can then offset that outstanding invoice with the credit memo. If you're new to QuickBooks Online, you need a lot more guidance than that. Stick with me. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to write off bad debts. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is make sure our accounts are set up properly. We need a bad debt expense account and as well as a bad debt expense item. So let's set up our account first. We go to transactions and chart of accounts. First, let's see if you might already have a bad debt expense account. So I'm just going to do a search for bad debt. And yes, of course, I already have the bad debt expense account set up. If you need to create one, all we need to do is go over here to new. The account name will be bad debt. The account type will be expense. And the detail type will be bad debt. And there you go. Click save and you'll have your bad debt expense account set up. Uh, I don't want to save this. I already have a bad debt expense. So I'm going to just hit cancel. Okay, so that's your bad debt expense account. We also need a bad debt item. And that's because credit memos cannot be recorded directly to expense accounts. They need to be recorded to items. So to make a new item, let's go up here to our Cogwheel, over to lists, and then products and services. So again, let's check, just make sure, see if maybe you already have a bad debt expense item created. So search for bad debt. Yes, I already have a bad debt item created. If you need to create one, it's very simple. We're just gonna go over here to new and we're gonna set this up as a service item. And so the name of the item will be bad debt. We don't want this to appear on sales forms. And so we're going to deselect that. We want this to, uh, we're gonna set this up as an expense item. So we wanna under the purchasing information here. So really all you need to do, make sure this purchasing information is checked and then the expense account is going to be bad debts. Okay, and that's the account you just set up. Now, hit save and close. You'll then have a, a bad debt item that we can select on our credit memo. So I already have this, so I'm not going to hit save and close. I'm just going to close it out. Okay, so now we're set up. We have our bad debt expense. We have our bad debt item. Before we create the credit memo, let's find the invoice that we want to write off. So we're going to go to sales. We're going to go to invoices. And this, of course, gives us all of our outstanding invoices. So let's pick one. Let's pick this Robert Allard of $80.81. So I want to write off this bad debt. Now, people might be tempted to simply delete it or void it. And you could do that over here with this drop down. But don't do that. That is the wrong way to do it. Um, for one, it eliminates your paper trail, right? You'll never see that you actually issued an invoice to Robert and that he failed to pay you. That might be interesting to know. Let's say if he wants to come back and have uh, do business with you again in the future. The other problem with that would be that, look, this invoice was issued in 2023. It's now 2024. If I delete it, it's actually going to misstate my 2023 income, which is really problematic if I've already filed a 2023 tax return. So. Do not just delete or void the invoice. Let's do this correctly, and that's by creating a credit memo. So um, note the amount here. So it's going to be Robert Allard, and we're going to write off $80.81. So let's do that. So we're going to go up to New, and under Customers, we're going to go to Credit Memos. Choose Robert Allard as the customer. Serve for the credit memo date, we'll just use today. It should be whatever date you've declared the bad debt to be uncollectible and so we're going to use today's date service date we're just going to use the same our product or service this is where we want to use that bad debt item that we just set up and we've mapped we've mapped that item to the bad debt expense account so that's where it'll eventually end up and here in the amount is where we're going to want to put the eighty dollars and eighty one cents Okay, so there we go. We can see that we have a credit of $80.81. So let's hit save and close. And that now creates our credit memo. Excellent. Okay, but we're not done yet because if we look here, we can still see that we have this invoice outstanding for $80.81. So on the line here for Robert Allard, $80.81, this is that original memo. Let's click receive payment. 
That's going to bring up a list of everything we have outstanding with him. So let's make sure that this invoice for $80.81 is the only thing selected. Then we're going to scroll down to our credits and we're going to see the credit memo that we just created. We want to make sure that's selected as well. And so we can see that the $80.81 invoice is being perfectly offset with the $80.81 credit memo and so that the amount we're receiving is zero. So this all looks great. Let's go ahead and click save and close and that has applied our credit memo to that outstanding invoice. That outstanding invoice is now gone. There's another one down here but that is a different invoice. Okay so let's see what this looks like on our report. So let's run a profit and loss statement. So I'm going to go to reports and our profit and loss statement. Okay, if we scroll down, we can see a bad debt expense here of 218081. Let's uh, click into that to get the detail. And we can see right here, today's date, 4-18-2024, we wrote off Robert Allard's debt of $80.81. So there we go. We've learned how to write off our bad debts in QuickBooks Online. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, we have a ton of great tutorials at Fit Small Business. In fact, we have 55 of them. Um, you can visit fitsmallbusiness.com backslash free QuickBooks online tutorials. I'll also throw a, a link to it in the YouTube description. Lots of great material for new QuickBooks users. Uh, again, my name is Tim Yoder. Very happy to help you. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you again in our next QuickBooks tutorial.